what's going on everybody my name is smog io2 and today i'm going to be telling you how to build a few minecraft things such as this right here which is an automatic melon farm and this one is like super easy so you really don't have to pay attention you just look at it and you can build it but i'm going to show you how to build it anyway because i'm nice like that fully automatic cactus farm again you can just look at it you could build it and um, this right here I just built, that right there I just built, and this right here is a code door, so walking over here, you know, you see this little door, like, this something has to do with that, alright, so you come over here and you read this, 268, 268, and then you hear that opens, and then the fire was supposed to go in there, whoops, let me try that again, okay, let's try this again. I don't know what is happening. Anyway, so just, I guess, move the netherrack up one. That's all right. It'll be fine. So anyway, I'm going to be showing you how to build all three of these. And if you really want me to show you how to build this ultimate mob spawner, let me know if you guys want me to do it myself. Or or I can give you a link in the description just to go check somebody, somebody else's out, which is where I got it from. <laughs> so yeah, let's get to it. Okay, guys. So to start off this build, you're going to need some iron chest, water bucket, redstone torch, lever, redstone, a hopper, redstone repeater, piston, a hoe, doesn't matter which kind, just to till the dirt, water bucket, and some dirt. So let's hop into this. So first, holy crap, there it goes. Okay. So first you want to place a block right here, and then one right here. Come up one like this. And then on this block right here, you want to place a piston, Take the dirt out. Okay, so really right here is what you should have right now. Pretty simple, pretty basic. Okay, so now you take your redstone, put it up here like this. Take your chest like that. Put a repeater, or I mean a hopper going into this chest right here. And a repeater going into this dirt block right here on top of that hopper gonna have a dirt block right behind there like that and need your iron again place one on the back like this one right here my B guys and then place a uh, iron block like this so now this is what you should have and that's basically it now you just gotta fill in the water with this and put a melon seed or pumpkin because it's both cool oh my bad I forgot to fill put that there put it like that and let's just give it some bone meal some mad bone meal okay guys I'm sorry I forgot that this block right here you have to put a lever on and you have to flick it down now it is completely activated so this is what you should have all together right now. If you have it, then you're on a roll. Alright, so I'm impatient. So I'm just going to put the melon down, block down and watch it go. So what it does is it falls into there. Sometimes it gets out of control, but that's fine. Because like, it basically multiplies. So you get that, like that, like that. And as you can see, I'm already getting a ton of slices. So yeah, that's how you build a automatic, completely automatic mel melon farm. So now let's move on to the automatic cactus farm. Let's go. Okay guys, I just want to clarify, this iron right here does not have to be iron. This can be a block, any block of your choice. Um, so yeah, because mainly everything here is iron, so even that up there. So you, can, you could use dirt if you wanted to, that'd work as well. All right, so let's move on to the cactus one. So all you need is sand, hopper, chest, any block of your choice glass and of course a cactus to start it so what you're gonna do is you want to place a chest right here and then on all of its corners place some sand like this so you should have this if you have it great job now you want to put some hoppers running into that chest on all four sides like so okay so now that you've done that you're going to come up to like this and put it out like this 
and just build the perimeter around like this. Feel free to pause at any moment. Now you can either leave this open or put glass on it. This is what it looks like if you have glass on it. So you can just look at it from here if you want. And I'm not gonna put glass on it right now. So yeah. So now you just need to place your cactus on the sand blocks and you should be good to go. So if I place another one, which I can't because it won't let me, but if it grows, if we just wait. Okay guys, I'm just gonna put some glass over it because I don't know if this is working correctly. So that one definitely works because as you can see, we have plenty of cactus. So I'm gonna put some glass over it. You feel free to try it. Let me know if it actually does work because to me, it just looks like it's not, well, I mean, I guess because it's in the corner, I guess. I don't know, you guys let me know, but I'm gonna put some glass on it for now and see if it works. Okay guys, so after a long time of waiting, I now have two stacks and six cactus. That is a lot of cactus, but I don't remember exactly how long that was. So yeah, that's the completely automatic cactus farm with absolutely no redstone. So let's move on to the one that's probably gonna take the longest this right here let's go okay so I'm gonna keep it very simple and so instead of building all of this mess behind here as you guys can see I am just going to keep it very simple and build a 3 by 3 area to, to start and place actually no a 4 by 3 like this and then I'm going to place levers on these right here and okay, so let's say I want the code to be this, this, and this, okay? You can make it whatever you want, just as long as you follow this rule right here. So this one is down, so you want to place this on it. This one is down, the middle one. And then this one up here is down too. So like this. Okay guys, slight mistake. I'm gonna make it go diagonal like this, this, and up top like this. Just to make it easier for the purpose of the video. So you take, okay, you take any block of your choice and build it around like this, on all of them. And since the bottom one is like this, build it out and around like that. So now you just link it all up And so, if all of these, okay, so, and all of it should turn on, yep, there we go. So, basically, you just, okay. So, say there's, a pl like, ten levers across this right here, and this one is the specific one. So, I'm going to place a redstone torch on the back of it, and it kind of has a wall, uh, like this. And then, so... This block right here is where the redstone torch is, right? This spot right here. So you're gonna go around that like this. And if it goes over the side, so like say this is where it stops, just cut it off like this. Basically, that's what I did for all of them. As you guys can see, I just built these two blocks here to connect it all up. And the cool thing about this, okay, so let's see. Bop, bop, bop. All right, so all of them should be on, which means, for example, like, Alright, that extends, right? Pretend that's a door. So if I put in the right code, like this, bam, it goes back. But if I put in any incorrect code, even if two digits are right, let's see, look. Bam, it extends. 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 So if you have the code wrong or not put in yet, the door will be closed. And if you have the exact correct combination, then yes, it will. But it's not the exact combination because you can still go here here and here and that'll work too just it has to be those specific ones so yeah that is how you build all three of these cool little redstone contractions that i learned hopefully you guys enjoyed go check out my instagram i'm back to uploading every sunday but this one is special because i have been uploading lately so you know i'm just gonna put this one up right now 
So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Like, subscribe, comment. Peace out.